So I just wanted to make a little lesson kind of about something that's helped me out a lot with unlocking new shapes on the fretboard. Um, and I'm not like a music theory expert or anything like that. This is just something that's helped me out. So maybe it will help you out as well. Um, so basically what I'm going to be talking about is using the modes to play all across the fretboard. Um, and on this one, I'm only going to be using five of the modes out of the seven. Um, I don't know, they're just the ones that are more common. And like I said, I'm not like a theory expert or anything like that. So these ones are just a little bit easier to understand. Um, so for my example, we're going to be using the key of E. So we're going to be looking at E Lydian right now. So So that's E Lydian, right? And your roots obviously E and kind of that target note is B flat, the one that gives it that Lydian sound. That's the one that gives it the Lydian sound, right? So that's E Lydian. But the crazy thing is, if you play C sharp Dorian and you have E as your root, you're still playing E Lydian, right? So there's C sharp. So you all know Dor Dorian mode. But if you make E the root, you're playing E Lydian if you play that same exact thing just landing on E. So, so here's the E. So instead of landing on the C sharp, you're going to land on the E. So there's two shapes right there for you already. And then the C sharp shape. And you can keep going up horizontally doing this. Um, so if you go up from there, if you go to E flat, you can play uh, E flat Phrygian. And instead of landing on E flat, you want to land on E and it will be Lydian. So. play you know e e flat it's gonna get, have the phrygian sound so so e over it and then e flat over it So that's three shapes. So starting back from the beginning, you have the kind of normal E Lydian shape. Then you have your C sharp shape. Then you have your E flat Phrygian uh, shape. So. And then you can move up again and you can play F sharp mixolydian, but if you land on the E, it will be E Lydian. So. So F sharp mixolydian, right? So just play the E over it and play that same exact shape and you have another shape to play E Lydian. So.
listen if you play F sharp over it. It has a mixolydian sound, right? But if you play U over it. And then you can even go up one more time. Um, so, and you can actually do this with all the modes. Just these five are the ones I've kind of like been able to grasp the concept with. Um, just because like they're a little bit more of the more commonly used modes. Um, and then the next one you can play is... Da, 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 da. Let me see. G sharp uh, Aeolian, which is the minor scale. So... But if you play E over that, you'll be playing E Lydian, so. Um, and then you're gonna wanna target that B flat on any of these scales. B flat is like your, that's your money note, like it will make it sound Lydian, so. shapes to use right so all five shapes played kind of horizontally in a row will be like this so here's your normal E Lydian here's a C sharp shape that's a C sharp Dorian shape uh, E flat Phrygian shape F-sharp mixolydian shape. And then the uh, G-sharp aeolian shape. So, I hope that kind of makes sense. Basically, like, when you're playing, if you know this, then you can do that in any key, um, right? So let's just say we're in F sharp, for example, right? That C sharp Dorian shape is also F sharp mixolydian, so. So basically, I guess what I'm trying to say is none of the shapes are changing. It's just what chord that is being played underneath is what is actually changing. So it gives it a completely different sound, right? So you play F sharp, you know, dominant. It's got the mixolydian sound. But if you play E major 7, It's got the Lydian sound. So, I don't know, that's something that's kind of helped me unlock a lot of new shapes going, you know, horizontally across the fretboard. So, hopefully that makes some sense and is applicable to anyone who's watching this. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed.